Hey guys, welcome back to Such Plants. So today we're gonna to be doing something different. We're gonna be plant shopping. Oh my God, we found the perfect one, guys. As you can see, it's fake. So I'm looking for a plant or a tree or something big enough and nice enough to be placed right next to my window here. Next to these random pups here who all need a bath. Do you guys want to go plant shopping? Or do you guys want a bath? <laughs> bath? <laughs> so I'm looking for maybe something like a fiddle leaf fig to go right over here. I'm not looking to spend more than $100. So yeah, we're gonna be checking out Lowe's, if we don't see anything that we like, then we'll check out Star Nursery. And if we don't see anything there, I don't know, then I guess no plants. Oh, if you're wondering what plants I have behind me, this is fake bamboo tree. Okay, it's almost as tall as I am. And this is a fake, uh, Tradescantia or something. The leaves kind of look like that, but it's not variegated, obviously. It's all green. I can't have any live plants down here because I don't have a lot of sunlight coming through the windows. So these fake plants will have to do. So this is where I used to keep all of my plants. And this is my only south facing window downstairs. That's the neighbor that I have behind me. In the winter time, that blocks all of the direct sun that my plants were able or were not able to get. Also, in the summertime, when the sun is higher in the sky, um, there's just that sliver of direct sun that my plants were able to get. And so that wasn't really enough from all my plants. So I ended up putting a grow light there, which helped a little bit for the time being until I was able to move all my plants upstairs into the plant room where they all are at now. So they're doing really, really well in there. But now that I've moved my plants, this area is looking really bare. I used to have that fake bamboo plant right over here, but I need something real. I need real love. So yeah, uh, I just had breakfast. I had a loco moco. If you don't know what that is, Google it. It's really good. Now let's get changed so we can go shopping for pants. <laughs> right here we are, pants. Look at these orchids. Snake plants. Twenty six ninety eight. Got some reduced price Philly figs here for twenty dollars. This one is thirteen ninety nine, but they don't look too happy. There's a little semi leaf down there. Protons for five dollars. Petonias six dollars. Looks so cool. Some maiden hair ferns six dollars. Look how bright green that looks. Ivies. 
five dollars. Arrowhead, six dollars. Let's look at these palms here. This one is twenty dollars. This one's twenty-five dollars. It's a little bit smaller than what I want. This one has more in the pot, but it's about the same height. Here are the fiddle leaf figs, but they're all really small. Looking for something that's about that height, but they look pretty bare down the stem. But these are... $26.98. Also, when looking for a fiddle leaf fig, you want to make sure that the leaves on the stem are closer together versus farther apart. Because when they're closer together, that's what creates a really strong stem, strong and healthy stem. Look at that. It looks so full. Rubber plant sixteen and eight. All right, here we have bigger palms, and these are cheaper. These are cheaper than the smaller ones over there. That's weird. It's nineteen ninety eight, or I guess it depends. I yeah, know they're nineteen ninety eight. Oh, wait, that doesn't make sense. That's the bigger one back there, I bet. Yeah, that is the bigger guy there. $49.98, but it's huge. All right, so we walked out empty-handed, but that's okay. Didn't really find what I was looking for. Um, they had some cool looking plants in there, but save that for another video. That's all they have. Although these are not the variegated rubber plants, but uh, pretty sure four dollars each. Look at these baby ZZ plants. So cute. Six dollars. This is pretty interesting. It's a bonsai style ZZ. Never seen that before. Twenty dollars. Look at these furry little fuzzy ones. What are these? White velvet wandering chew. Interesting. Here we have some sideways ZZ plants. <laughs> they look kind of funny. Oh. Zen Z ZZ plants. Cousin to our typical ZZ plants. Here we have a random monster. Okay, happy with new growth for seven and eight. But no fiddle leaf figs. Look at this coconut palm. It's 
so cool. So tropical looking. Let's take a quick stroll through the succulent section. Not a huge succulent fan, but these all look really pretty. So these orange pots are four forty-eight. And these two inch pots are for two ninety-eight. This looks so cute. They got some string of pearls. For $9.98. Wow, these pearls are so big. They look so healthy. This is the first time I've seen a really big six inch pot of these here. These are fake flowers, guys. I don't know how I feel about that. Those are grafted onto the cactus. So this star nursery has this really cool pond here. Look at that turtle. That koi. Are those koi or goldfish? I don't know. Those are fake, aren't they? Oh no, they're real. What the? Look at that guy just floating in there. I mean, it is a nice day. So this is all of their outdoor shrubs that they don't need to put in to this enclosed greenhouse. So every winter time they enclose their outdoor section so that the plants don't die. Once again, we're walking out empty-handed, um, but we'll continue the search for this fiddly fig. All right, we're at Home Depot. We're just gonna walk through straight into the garden center here. That's fake. Oh my god, we found the perfect one, guys. As you can see, it's fake. So this fake fiddle leaf fig, it's 159. Oh my god. Look at this combo here. Got a fiddle, snake plant, and golden pothos in this huge pot. Where's the price? This one's $119. I know I said I wasn't gonna spend more than $100. But this actually looks pretty healthy for the leaf size. It's huge. We'll come back to that one. Let's look at the palms. These are pretty tall too. They're going for forty dollars. Dracenas for twenty four ninety eight. These smaller palms were also twenty four ninety eight. It says one year guarantee on all plants. Oh, and these are grown in Hawaii. 
Oh my god, look at this variegated monstera here. <sighs> Guys, I'm gonna get it. That's crazy. It's in this fancy pot though, but it's selling for $69.98. So I'm checking the other leaves here, but they don't seem to have any more signs of variegation. I don't know, but that's pretty cool though. Probably not gonna get it because this is what's called a sport variegation and it's random. It happens when there is variegation on a small part of the plant but it doesn't continue as you can see. There is a new growth coming out but that doesn't it's too early to tell if that one's gonna have variegation. But if we take it out of the decorative planter which was $69.98 you can see it's 1798. More medium size for the leaf eggs for 1998. Bigger ones for 3498. Bounces 79.98, which I don't believe. All right, we might get one of these smaller ones, but like I said earlier, we wanted to try to avoid getting these leggy ones. Because as you can see, the stems are very thin, and that's why they're being supported by these bamboo sticks. All right, I think we found a winner winner chicken dinner here. I'm choosing this one because it has two branches coming out. See, there's this one, and then there's that one. So this one will hopefully grow into a full-looking fiddle leaf fig, and it's 19.98. Now we need to look for a pot. This one is an 8-inch pot, and I would prefer to put it inside of another pot, but keep the nursery pot. So let's see if this fits. Nope. So they have more pots outside, but these are all too big. Never mind. This one actually looks pretty cool. It's like a wooden pail, but it's kind of deep. You might have to prop it up with something in there. Yay! Yay! Lunch break. So here we are at IKEA. So we're just gonna take a shortcut directly to House Plants. Check out what they have in stock. Oh, um, look at these guys. They look like huge variegated string of hearts. We got some lucky bamboos, aloe, golden poppers. We got ZZ plants for ten dollars. That's actually a good price. All right, this is what I actually came to IKEA for. This is Vitstro shelf, white glass, and they have in stock. Last time I was here, they're out of stock, so today's my lucky day. Woo! Strizzling. All right, we're back home. So this is what we hauled from Ikea. I got a glass jar for my Monstera elbow cuttings that I'm gonna be cutting up soon. 
We got a couple of shovels in here and a hoe. Is that what it's called? A hoe, plant hoe. And then a shelf for this fiddly fig. That's gonna go up against my window here. And as I mentioned earlier, the other shelf that I've been meaning to get to go along with my other plants upstairs. So we're gonna do a time lapse and I'm gonna put together the shelf for you. So we'll see how it looks like when it's done. Let's get started. Okay, here's the finished product. Look how cute that looks. Put my bamboo there. But now, I'm gonna build the other shelf. So this is what the plant setup looks like so far. As you can see, I had to move some plants around, reorganize a little bit. But now we have like empty spots on the shelves, which means we can put more plants there. Really liking it so far. When I walk into this room and I see this big setup, it feels like one big furniture piece and it's looking like everything's matching. Got this from Ikea. This is where the monster elbows are gonna be placed into. Yeah, let me know what you think. All right, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed watching, please hit the like button and let me know down in the comments what you guys think of the new setup here. I think Mr. Flamingo likes it. But yeah, until next time, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.